Captain of Hardy, Hal Silver, the Lone Ranger. <laughs> With his faithful Indian companion, Toto, the masked rider of the plains led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. The stories of his strength and courage, his daring and resourcefulness have come down to us through the generations. And nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past and the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver, the Lone Ranger rides again. Morning, Silver! Let's go, big fellow! I'll still there! The growing storm that hung over the crest of San Andres Range was nothing compared to the accumulated wrath in the heart of Alkali, the bearded prospector, as he belabored a very small but stubborn burrow. Hey, come on here, you long-eared snake bait! I'll pull your dead blamed head off. I'll build a fire under you and burn you to a cinder. By golly, that's what I'll do. Uh, uh, I'll bray uh, your head off, you stubborn little runt. You'll bray louder than that when I get a fire started under you. Here's enough brush to raise a blister once it gets burning. Huh, two fellas coming this way. Maybe they can help me get this balky donkey moving. Uh, shut up, you blasted foghorn. Say, one of them fellas is wearing a mask. Oh, oh, Silver. Oh, 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 Hello, old timer. Having trouble with the burrow? Alkali's the name, stranger. Now, I ain't got nothing in my pack that's worth the taking. So you and your engine pod might as well move on. We're not outlaws. We've been watching that storm gathering over the mountains, and we're looking for shelter. Well, I've been watching that storm, too. I hope to get into Rimrock before it busted, but with this dead blasted balky donkey on my hands, I'll never get there. <laughs> I was just starting to set a fire under him when you rode up. <laughs> Perhaps we can help you get him moving. He don't seem to think he can. <laughs> I'll burn him off his feet one of these days. I have a better idea. Tonto, get that can of molasses out of your saddlebag, steady uh, silver. <laughs> Me get it. Here. Here, molasses, Kimothabi. Thanks, Toto. <laughs> molasses, eh? Oh, he's so stubborn he won't eat it, I'll bet you. I take the can, Alkali. Hold it under his nose. Like this? Uh, yeah. uh, hey, 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 get away from me. Now. Get that back. Get 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 the next time he balks, offer him some more. I sure hope they got some molasses in Rimrock. I'll never be without some from now on. <laughs> you can take that can along. We don't need it. Oh, now, that's mighty fine of you to give me your molasses. You, you sure you won't need it? <laughs> We're glad to give it to you. Put it in your pack, you might need it again. Well, we'll be on our way. Steady, Silver. 
Better hurry if you're going to beat that storm in the rim rock. Reckon the head is that. Oh, you say you're looking for shelter? Yes. We'll probably find cover up the trail. Well, you help me out. Now I'm going to help you. About two miles up the trail, you'll see a pile of red rocks. Turn left about 200 yards and you'll find a mine shaft. Belongs to me. There's plenty of room for you and your horses. Thanks, Alkali. We'll accept your hospitality. Well, I'll be rolling in sometime this evening, so make yourself to home. Get up there, you dead blasted cactus eater. Get along, now. <laughs> you ready, Tom? Huh? <laughs> me. Be ready. Come on, Silver. Get him up, Scott. Sylvester Bodkin appeared at the doorway of his bank. He hesitated as he looked at the steady downpour of rain. Then, with sudden determination, he pulled his hat down over his face, turned up his coat collar, and hurried across the street to the small frame building which bore the sign, Rimrock Mining and Development Company. Yip! Yip Foster! Figured I'd catch in. Anybody around? Nobody. Take a chair. Yeah. Yep. We've got to do something. And we've got to do it quick. What's up? I got a letter today. Said a bank examiner might be coming in any day now. Yep, we've got to cover that shortage. I sure thought that mining claim would pay off by this time. But it didn't. And the money we took from the bank must be replaced. Can't you borrow some money from somebody, Yep? Just long enough to cover the shortage? Well, can't borrow a cent. Can you? No, of course not. Imagine a banker asking to borrow money. I wish I knew what to do. We'll both go to jail if we don't find some way to cover up what we took and sunk into that mine. I did. What's that? I heard something, too. Thought you said nobody was around here. Nobody that I knowed of. They're in that back room. I got my gun. Just in case somebody's snooping. Better be careful, yep. Well, don't... <laughs> hey, what? <laughs> What's so funny? Oh, come here and look. <laughs> look at what? <laughs> what? Oh, a burrow. He pushed open the back door and came in. Yeah. He wanted to get in out of the rain. <laughs> well, he'll have to get right back into it again. That's old alkalized burrow. Yeah, I reckon it is at that. Saw him and his critter trudging up the street just before the storm broke. Come on, you. Get. Now you get a hold of one side of his pack like this. He's got this pack loaded down with plenty of something. Now get a move on, you. Hey, wait a minute. Well, I thought you wanted to get him out of here. Ah, I got an idea. Let's look in that pack. What for? Yeah, let's see. Yeah, just as I expected. Blasting powder. What are you talking about, Yip? Help me unload this blasting powder and stuff. Hurry. You, uh, you're going to steal the stuff out of that pack? Sure I am. And we'll fill it up again with some old rock and push this critter out in the rain again. Oh, I... I think I'm beginning to see what you have in mind. Oh, you critter. Darkness had fallen when Alkali and his burrow returned to the mine where he found the Lone Ranger and Tonto beside a campfire. Oh, he seems to be cured of his balking habits, Alkali. Oh, he just don't balk when he's headed towards home. It's always when he's going the other way. Oh, uh, oh. Quite a heavy pack you've got on him. Yeah, but he can tote a lot. Now, if you and your engine part will just help me unload it. Sure, I'll be glad to help. Ah, uh, me unload pack. Oh, what's this? Huh? Oh, big rock. Who put that in there? Why, the pack's filled with rocks. Well, of all the dead, blasted, thieving tricks. What did you have in the pack, Alkali? Blasting powder. That's what I went to Rimrock to get. Somebody's stolen it. Uh, they sure have. But why'd they steal it? They can buy all they want. It's, it's cheap. These rocks have been taken from mines. Have you any idea who might have had them? <laughs> Rimrock is paved with them kind of rocks, mass man. And every one of them represents a busted hope. I suppose you're right, Alkali. But if somebody stole your blasting powder, they're not going to use it for mining purposes. No? What makes you think they ain't? Because, as you pointed out, they could have bought the powder cheap. So whoever stole your powder doesn't want anyone to know that they have it. My golly, I'll bet you're right at that. Have you any idea who that might be? 
No, can't think who'd be up to gentlemen. Uncle, I think Todd and I will ride into town and look around. Whoever stole your powder plans on using it before you discover your loss and return to spread your alarm. Well, that's just what I'm aiming to do. I'm going right back then. Tell the sheriff. Oh, stay here until morning, Alkali. Todd and I discover nothing by then. We'll come back here. That will be time enough to report your loss. All right, masked man, just as you say. But if you ain't back by daylight, I'm heading for town to tell the sheriff. Here, Silver. I'm Scout. I'm Scout. Easy. Steady, big sword. Come on, Silver. Get him up, Scout. Got that safe stuff with enough blasting powder to knock the door off the hinges. Here's the rest of the blasting powder. Fuse and all. Yeah, we don't need that can. It might blow up the whole building. All we want to do is make it look like the safe was blowed and the money stolen. But I've got a fuse in it. What'll I do with it? Yep, stuff it in that gunny sack with the rest of the stuff we took out of Alkali's pack. We can't leave it here. I ain't aiming to. We'll take the gunny sack to my place across the street. Yeah. We can hide it under the floorboards in the back room with the money we're taking out of here. Yep, that's what I was aiming to do. Uh, let me light this candle. Have you got it timed right? Yep. In two hours from now, it'll be burned down to that fuse. And then listen for a big noise. It's ten o'clock now. Blast should go off about midnight. We better get going. Pick up the gunny sack. Yep. I'll take the satchel with the money. Told the sheriff to meet us about quarter after ten. <laughs> He'll be our perfect alibi. <laughs> we'll be sitting there playing cards with the sheriff when the safe is blown. Did you jimmy the back door of the bank like I suggested? Sure. Knock the lock off the door. Now, come on, we'll sneak out that way. Make sure nobody sees us leaving here. Yeah. Got to be careful. Sheriff Marlin looked at his watch and yawned. Well, boys, I reckon I'd better be getting on home. It's nine to midnight, long past my bedtime. Oh, come on, Sheriff. One more hand, just to give me a chance uh, to get even. Let's play one more hand. All right. Deal him. But this is the last one, Yep. I really got to go home and get to bed. Yeah, the moon's coming up now. You... You won't be scared to walk home by yourself, Sheriff. <laughs> by golly, the moon is shining, ain't it? Scared off nice after the storm, didn't it? Yeah, who'll open? I can't. Yeah, neither can I. How about you, Sheriff? You got jacks or better? Well, what you looking at, Sheriff? Yeah. Look yonder. Hmm? Across the street, back of the bank. What do you see? Two fellas. They're creeping toward the back door of the bank. You're right. I'll bet they're trying to break in. We'll watch them. If they go in, we'll get over there and nab them in the act. off this door. Uh. Keep me covered, Tonto. I'm going inside. Uh. You watch. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
Now to continue our story. While Tonto waited outside the back door to the bank, the Lone Ranger entered. At that moment, a terrific blast shook the building. At the same time, the sheriff began shooting. Tonto stood rooted to the spot, momentarily stunned by the thought that the Lone Ranger had been caught in the explosion. Then he was relieved to see the Lone Ranger running toward him, his gun spitting lead toward the men across the street. Run, Tonto. We've got to get out of here. Uh, I'll cover you. Run. Get to the horses. Here. Get horses now. Steady, steady, Silver. Easy. Come on, big fellow. Get up, scout. short distance from town, the masked rider of the plains and Tonto drew rein and dismounted to discuss what had happened. Oh, sir, oh, 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 easy, steady, big fella. They've not followed us on horses, Tonto. I think we're safe here for the time being. Uh, what happened when you go in bank, Kimasabi? Well, I went down the hall to the front of the bank. You see a very small light. I was cautious, of course, and stopped in the doorway. A candle was burning on the floor. Uh, there was no one in the room. I was just getting ready to step in when the blast occurred. Almost knocked me down. Uh, me no. Tonto Field Blast in Alley. Something strange about this whole thing. I'm convinced of that. How, Kimasabi? Oh, it was too perfect. Nobody in the bank when the blast occurred. And as we ran, somebody opened fire on us from across the street. One of the men shooting at us was a law officer. You could see his badge in the moonlight. Ah. And what do you think? I think we'll find the bank was robbed. But it was robbed before we got there. The blast and the gunfight were arranged to cover the theft. But how they know we walk into trap? Oh, I thought of that, too. That's one question I can't explain, but I intend to find the answer. Uh, what you do now, Kimasabi? Yeah, we'll stay here until morning. I'm certain that even in the moonlight, those men didn't get a close look at us. Not right. Tonto not see faces of men who shoot from cross street, and them not see our faces. In the morning, Tonto, I want you to go back into town. Uh -huh. Pick up all the information you can about what happened. Make certain you find out who the men were who opened fire on us. Uh, me do it. Old Alkali will probably report the theft of his powder to the sheriff, so don't let him see you. Uh -huh. So somebody stole your blasting powder right out of the pack in that burrow, Alkali. That's what they done, Sheriff. I didn't notice they done it till I get out to my diggings and find the pack full of rocks. About what time did you discover your loss? Last night, uh, about ten o'clock, I'd say. Why'd you wait till now to come in and report it? Because the mash fell and his engine friend didn't come back. Mash fell and engine? What are you talking about, Alfie? Well, I met him on the trail yesterday, just before the storm, while I was on my way to Rimble. After the old prospector had told his story... Sheriff Marlin shook his head sadly and said, Alkali, I'm going to have to lock you up. Lock me up? Well, not that I think you're guilty, but under the law, it looks like you might be an accessory before the fact. An accessory before the... What are you talking about, Sheriff? I ain't done nothing. I come to tell you somebody stole my powder and you locked me up. Is that justice? Alkali, two fellas blowed the safe at the bank last night. Blowed the bank? Yes, sir. They took every cent, maybe $50,000. <laughs> How do you know two fellas did it? Me and Sylvester Bodkin and Yip Foster saw them. We almost got them, too, but they was mighty handy with a gun and they got away. Well, of all things. You wouldn't know right off where we could locate this mass fella and engine, would you? No, sir, Sheriff, I don't. I'd have never thought they'd have done that, though. Well, come on, Alkali. After we find them, maybe I can turn you loose. Right now, I gotta hold you, though. <laughs> Following the Lone Ranger's instructions, Tonto spent several hours in Rimrock and returned with plenty of information. Sheriff arrest Alki. Him in jail now. Why would he arrest him, Tonto? Me not find out. Sheriff not say. Did you find out who the men were with the sheriff last night? Ah. Man named Bodkin. Him run bank. And man named Yip Foster. Him have office cross street from bank. Foster's a mining speculator. Ah. Them play cards at Sheriff and Foster's office last night. And them see us at back of bank. So that's how they were on the scene so quickly, huh? But Kimasabi, Tonto finds something else out. It may be good, maybe not good. What is it, Tonto? Me see Alkali's burra. You did? Ah. 
After sheriff arrest Alkali, Burra just wander in street. Oh. Then we see Burra lick ground. He near back a door a bank. Uh, Burra walk slow, lick ground. Tonto go see why Burra lick ground. What did you find? Uh, Tonto find molasses on ground. Burra lick molasses. That's interesting. Tonto watch Burra. Burra go to back door a building cross street. That's for Foster's office? That's right. And if I understand correctly, you saw the burro lick a trail of molasses that led from the rear door of the bank to the rear door of Foster's office. That's right, Kimasabi. And Foster and Bodkin were having a friendly game of cards last night when the blast occurred. Ah. Otto, we're going back to Rimrock tonight. I want to have a look in the back room of Foster's office. Inside. We'll have to force our way in, Tonto. Uh, Need help. Easy now. I don't want to make too much noise. There it goes. Come on in. Close the door behind you. Uh, I'll strike a match. When I do, take a quick look around the room. Uh, I can't keep a light on too long. Let me look. Uh, plenty rock. Same like an alkali's pack. Look here, Tonto. Uh, know what that is? Uh, it's molasses. It leads from that door to over there near the wall. Put out this match. I come over here where the trail of molasses ends. Feel around on the floor. See if there are any loose boards. Uh, 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 let me find loose board. Here's another. Right beside it. I'll light another match and we'll see what's under the floor. Uh, let me see a big sack. Let's see what's in it. Uh, uh. Just as I thought. There's the money from the bank. Ah, me see can of blasting powder. Cues on it, too. Yes, and there's a can of molasses we gave to Alkali when his burrow balked yesterday. And what we do? Not this match. Now we place the boards just as they were. Now, come on. We're going to get the sheriff. telling you, Bodkin, I saw a light in that back room of my office a minute ago. I didn't see it. I was standing right by the window in the bank, too. Yeah, we'll soon find out if anybody's poking around back there. Let's go around the back way. Yeah, the door's bolted from the inside. We can't get in. We'll go around through the front office. match. Uh, look at that back door. What? Busted wide open. Hey, there's a match on the floor, too. A burnt match. Somebody's been in here. I knew it. Give me a hand with these boards. None of that stuff's been bothered. Oh. Well, it's all here. Just the same whoever it was took a look down here. They did? How do you know? You see this burnt match down here? I didn't put it there. Yeah, you're right. What do we do? Gotta get this stuff out of here quick before they get back. Probably gone to get the sheriff. Uh, hey, what the... Uh, fool burr. Scared me out of a year's growth. What's he poking in here for? Go on, get out of here, you critter. Hey, leave him alone. Strike another match. Uh, what's the idea? Listen, hold that critter still. While I put all this stuff in that pack on his back. Are you going crazy, Yip? What are you putting all that stuff in there for? Nobody will think to look in his pack. Alkali's in jail, and this critter will be handed when we want him. You're smart. Now, put these boards back. When we find out who it was poking around in here, then we can bide our time to get the stuff out of the pack again. Now, let's get him out of here. Yeah. Get moving, you long near oh. critter. Ah, nah. Ah, nah. I'll shut the door. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, wait. Somebody's coming. Let's get back in my office. Now, Sheriff, I'll show you where Todd and I found the money. Also, the blasting powder used to blow open the safe. And you say it's all right there under the floor now? Yes, it is. Now, Alkali, if you'll hold the lantern over this way, Todd and I'll move the floorboards. Yep. Looking for something, Sheriff? What? Oh, uh, yes. Didn't expect to see you and Bodkin here, Yip. You'd better put them in custody, Sheriff. Not until after I see the evidence, I ain't. All right, I'll show you plenty of evidence. Lift the boards, Tonto. What are you looking for, masked man? I don't see nothing down there, mister. What are you trying to pull on me, anyway? They must have seen Tonto and me leave the place. They've moved it. However, they haven't had time to move it far. Sheriff, what's this masked fellow up to, anyway? 
I thought he was the one you were looking for, for blowing the safe in the bank. You told me you were looking for a masked man and an engine. You're right, Bodkin. Masked man, you're under arrest. Why don't you search the building? You'll find the evidence. Get your hands up. I mean business. Get him up. Oh, don't look out. Get away. Oh, shot the gun right out of my hand. Dad, blast that fool donkey for butting in. Masked man, you'll hang for this. Sheriff, I hated to have to disarm you, but you wouldn't listen to reason. Are you two men there? Yep, Foster and Budkin. Line up against the wall. Get that burrow out of my office. Yeah, make that critter get outside. Let that burrow alone. I said line up against the wall. Oh, Move. Oh, oh. There, that'll do. Get that donkey out of Shut here. Shut up. Sheriff, when you locked Alkali up, did you examine the pack on his burrow to see if it contained anything? Yep, I looked. It was empty. Why? Well, look here. See that piece of powder fuse hanging out of the pack? Yep, looks like it. Well, if there was nothing in the pack when you locked Alkali up, there shouldn't be anything in it now. Is that right? Unless you put something in it yourself. If I put blasting powder in it, I'd hardly risk my own life by lighting this fuse, would I? I reckon not. Hey, you've lit it. Yes. There's no blasting powder in that pack. The fuse will burn itself out. We'll see. Hey, put out that fuse. You'll blow us all up. Stand where you are. Don't make a move. Put it out, you fool. I don't want to be blown up. Put it out. Put it out. Please, I'll, I'll tell you everything. It was Botkin who stole the money. You mean you two confessed to that bank robbery? Yes, but put out that fuse. Please put it out. Put, put it out, out the fuse, uh, Sheriff. Uh, uh, there. there. It's out. Oh. Oh. Uh, they've both fainted. <laughs> Look in the pack, Sheriff. But, holy smoke. Look at the money. And there is a can of blasting powder in it. Oh. Sheriff fainted, too. Alkali, you'd better take the sheriff's guns. Foster and Bodkin might revive before he does. Keep them covered if they do. I'll keep them covered, you skelly way. And Alkali, always keep a can of molasses handy for your burrow. He provided a perfect alibi for you tonight. Silly big fella. One, two. Get him up. Oh. 